Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Thank you for joining me this evening. We are reading the Psalms every single day live over the internet. Uh, so thank you all for tuning in. If you were tuning in on a replay or live, we are up to Psalm 63 today. And these are the songs. Psalms mean songs. The crying out of the prayers in a song. And, and they're, they're met most of them by King David. And this one's by King David. It's a short one. Uh, and we need to just remember that, you know, pr- uh, security and assurance always comes with Yahweh, no matter what we're going through. Uh, I've had situations, I even went through a situation a little while ago, and I just had to stop, pause, and reflect, and know, like King David said, Yahweh is our helper. He's the one that we turn to, and uh, and also our enemies, he takes care of them, not us, okay? So we're going to look at Psalm uh, 63. It says, a Psalm of David, when he was in the wilderness of Judah. O Elohim, you are my El, I earnestly seek you. So I earnestly seek you. Are you seeking earnestly our creator? And and, and how do we do that? Through prayer. Uh, through prayer and through his word. We, we, we dig deep into his word and, and we, we pray and speak and cry out to him. My soul thirsts for you. So that's David answer. His soul thirsts for him. Uh, and, and you know what that is? That's like when you're thirsty, and you become dehydrated and sick if you don't get water. So David's here saying, I'm, I get sick if I do not have you. You know, my soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you as in a dry and weary land without water. I don't know how many of you have ex- ever experienced uh, just like like d- d- uh, thirst from dehydration to a high degree, like where you're almost dead. And this is what David's saying, expressing his emotions. Verse 2. Therefore, I have seen you in a holy place, in a set apart place, seeing your power and your glory. For your loving kindness is better than, than life. Uh, my lips give praise to you. Hallelujah. That's our scripture for the day. Uh, I have, uh, for your loving kindness is better than life. My lips give praise to you. Hallelujah. So I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. Hallelujah, Yahweh. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. With joyful lips, my mouth shall praise you. Hallelujah. Remember the six things we need to be doing as believers. Pray, praise, proclaim, read, and repent, and submit. That's what we need to be doing on a regular basis. And uh, when I remember you upon my bed, I will meditate on you in the night watches. So, you know, in another translation, it goes on to say in verse six, uh, in verse six of uh, Psalm, Psalm 63, verse six says, I lie awake thinking of you, meditating on you throughout the night. So as some people will count sheep, you know, David was was meditating on Yahweh. And uh, uh, so verse seven, for you have been a help to me and I will rejoice under the shadow of your wings. My soul is cleaved after you. Your right hand upholds me. And, th- and those who seek to destroy my life shall go into the depths of the earth. And that's what we need to remember, folks. Yahweh will get to take the revenge on those coming against you. Because if they're coming up against somebody of Yah. He will, you know, they're coming against Yah himself. And uh, so we, we need to know that. Verse 10 says, they shall pour him out uh, by the sword. and They shall be a serving for jackals. Uh, but the king shall rejoice in Elohim. Everyone who swears by, his, uh, by him shall glory. Because the mouth of the one speaking a lie will be stopped. Will be stopped. It doesn't mean a lie won't happen. It says he will start to speak it and he will be stopped. And now another thing I want to uh, bring attention to in this is how many times uh, rejoicing is mentioned here in, in this. And I, I just realized this as I was reading it. So we have in verse 11, it says rejoice, uh, but the king shall rejoice. Where else do we see the word rejoice? We saw it in uh we start in verse 7. I will rejoice under the shadow of, of your wings. Uh, so where else do we see it here? Uh, we have uh, my soul in verse 5. Uh, joyful lips. Uh, so verse 4. 
Hallelujah. Let's see, verse 3. Okay, so we got the word rejoice here at least three times in, in this short psalm, in this short song. Uh, and that's what David was doing, rejoicing. And that's what we need to be doing, rejoicing for Yahshua. Hallelujah. Yahweh's salvation. This was a short one, folks, and uh, but, uh, uh, but still just as good. Uh, and David's songs and his heart just being expressed so wonderful. So thank you for joining me tonight, folks. Tomorrow, Psalm 64, please share this with others. And I want to encourage you, stay in the word. Remember, on a regular, race, regular basis, read, repent, uh, submit, pray, pray, and proclaim. All right? Thank you, guys. Have a great night out there, and uh, shalom. Out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world. Oh.